morning. It's uh, June 28th, and uh, we finally have some of these Blu-ray blueberries starting to get ripe. Let's see if I can show you the tag. These are a bigger berry. Get out of the sun. Than the Northlands. But I was very surprised at the sweetness of the Northlands for being such a small berry. So we'll go ahead and do a little taste comparison. Let me see down here's a nice ripe one. So there's a Blu-ray berry. And we'll get one off the and you can see the difference. Actually that one small one. It's not as uh ripe as I'd like it to be. That's a little better. So you can see the difference in the berries. Sorry for the plane going over. We live next to a little community airport here where I'm at. But there's the Northlands. And there's the Blu-ray. Here's another Northland. Well, I had more berries on it yesterday than that. It looks like the birds may have got out here and got some of them. But that's okay. And you can see these Blu rays, they're a nice big cluster of berries. Let's see, there's a blue one in the midst of all of that. You can see that. They're a lot bigger berry, but we'll. We're going to do a taste test here. So we'll try the Northland first. Which for a small berry and first year plants. These, year, th these are first year plants. I planted these early in the season. We got the plants from Indiana Berry. And uh, we gave around... Well, we bought two bags of fertilizer, and we bought four plants, and it was a hundred bucks. So we rode up to Plymouth, Indiana, to Indiana Berry, and talked to the owner, and he walked us around, and we got four big plants. And like I say, these are first-year plants. As you can see, they're doing pretty good. I think next year they'll do better because I'm going to have more sulfur. And when these uh, when these finish off, I'm going to throw a little more fertilizer down in the fall. Maybe get some uh, fungicide on them after the after all the fruits picked. We'll get some uh, some copper spray or some some kind of fungicide to help with the little bit of rust that's on the berries you can see the little spots there I looked it up online and it says that's a berry rust but I didn't want to spray anything on them until after they bloomed out and got their berries so that one or uh, that Northland was pretty sweet let's try this uh, we'll try this one now the blu-ray Well, they taste about the same as far as sweetness. The uh, Northlands are a little smaller berry. But for sweetness, they're almost identical. Let's try again.
And I'd say that if these Northlands were as big as these Blu-rays, I think they might take the Blu-ray on sweetness. But the Blu-ray, uh, the Blu-ray blueberry is about two to three times bigger than these Northlands. But the Northlands and we we've, we've picked quite a lot off of these plants. These Northlands have more berries. So it's kind of what's your what's your choice there? Would you like to have a bigger berry and less berries or more berries and small berries but flavor wise let's do one more flavor wise that's not too shabby for a first year berry they're about the same that's very sweet that's nice and sweet Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give them both an 8. I've had sweeter berries that we've uh, we've gotten at the, at the supermarket. Oh, there. Now I see. Looks like the birds have been out here picking on them. And that one didn't even quite get right. Well, we'll lay that one down in there. And maybe it'll grow another berry. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 8 on the sweetness of these. I thought the smaller Northlands would be a little tardy with them being such a small berry, but they surprised me. And I kind of figured these Blu-rays, being as big a berry as they are, would have a pretty good sweetness to them, but... The Northlands are just as sweet, so if you're looking for a, a sweet berry, not too tardy, try the Blu-ray and try the Northlands. And uh, that's about the only two berry plants we've ever grown as far as blueberries, so I can't really, I can't really tell you anything more about other varieties, but these, these are good and sweet, not too tardy. And uh, I'm impressed. So there you go. Thanks for watching.